Alright, what's going on guys? Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans gameplay commentary. And today, I actually got a pretty long episode for Proud Gamers uh, War Recap. So, they have war around once a week, maybe twice a week. Um, usually one small one, like 10v10. And then one big one, like 35 versus 35 or 30 versus 30. So, it depends. But, like last week, Proud Gamers actually destroyed war. But their streak, I think since the update came out, they won five five wars, but their streak ended. I forgot to show the war log, but their streak did end. I think last week or two weeks ago, they lost a war. It was 63 to 60. So it was very, very close. We were facing a pretty tough clan. So, um, But anyway, going into this war, it was pretty, it was kind of, um, I wouldn't say super easy, but uh, we already knew who was going to win. So... Um, I mean, it was a very, very good battle, and we actually used all attacks but nine. So, like, everybody almost attacked. So, for 35 versus 35, um, it wasn't too bad, actually. We did pretty good. So, this first raid is by Emerson. He's using all level, I think that's level 3 dragons, I believe. Yeah, I think that's level 3 dragons. Um, but anyway, he's doing a max... Um, dragons army so a very good job dude and this base was pretty easy to destroy with all dragons but anyway I'm guessing this is a German clan and pretty what's pretty interesting about it is because we started the war right after I guess proud gamers I'm not sure exactly when but I think both our main clan proud youtubers and our second clan which is proud gamers we are both facing German clans um, if it's not German I really apologize but it, it really does look German, so our main clan is is facing Germany, um, one of the Germans' clans, and they're actually very, very tough. So we're in a very close war, guys, and I will have a war recap tomorrow. Let me tell you guys, it is very close like last war. Exactly, last war was 48 versus 48, and um, so a little bit about our war in the background. Um, Proud Gamers did a good job. I mean, very good job. And this is actually the most heroic defense. And I always, every war I record, I always go by most heroic offense and most heroic defense. So I'm not sure what Dan was trying to do here with all wizards, P.E.K.K.A.s, and a dragon in the clan castle. But anyway, good defense by J.M.C. Logic. Um, but anyway, Proud YouTubers, guys. Um, we've been since the update came out we do war once a week and it might it may not sound like you know you guys Don't war a lot and we actually Did not war a lot before we only did like war once every two weeks if it was that so um, It's a pretty big change for us. I'm having war once a week, but anyway meta flame very very good job Lunian raid and actually I want to talk about this raid um, in our war recap tomorrow, if we do, um, I mean, once I post it, this raid is actually, I don't know what um, one of our members calls it, but I think Tech Deck, um, I think one of our members and proud YouTubers has this amazing strategy, like similar to this, but with Lava Hounds, and it works. So I will have a, again, video explaining how his strategy works. Um, he still get, didn't give out the whole strategy and everything, like, but let me tell you guys, when he did attacks at practice, in regular matchmaking, and at war, he did very, very good. So, yeah, anyway, looks like Meta Flame is going to just wrap this raid up pretty much. Um, he's got a couple minions, a couple balloons, just destroying a couple more buildings. And um, looks like he has plenty of time to get a 3-star here. So, uh, that was a perfect Balloonian raid. I mean, that was just really good. Um, so good job to Metal Flame. I don't know if he watches my videos or not. Probably not, I'm guessing. But if you are, dude, very, very good job. Very good attack. So anyway, Proud Gamers, again, do war once or twice a week. And they are pretty, very, very good, actually. I do like having a family clan. So if you guys can join the main clan, join them if they're open. They're level 65 plus. And many people want to join my main clan, guys. I'm sorry. It's level 80 plus. I keep mentioning every single time. And it's 100 plus war stars. No rushed bases. Um, and when I mean rushed, I literally mean like we can't even have like somewhat close to rushed bases. So anyway, um, looks like Killer 2 is going in with some Lavunian, two Lava Hounds. And I actually used this before in war. And actually, this is a very, very good strategy. 
Um, against high level air defenses like level 7 and up and level 8, it's kind of hard to do Lavunian unless you have like 3 Lava Hounds. Um, Meyer level 2 because I'm a Town Hall 9, that's the max, but um, nonetheless, this is a very good raid by Killer 2 having level th I think those are, yeah, level 5 minions, and those pups really do distract the air defenses so the balloons can get the little, you know, extra few seconds to destroy a couple more defenses. So, looks like Killer 2 is going to wrap it up. Once air defenses are gone, there is literally nothing to stop the balloons. I mean, Archer Towers, like high level Archer Towers, do a ton of damage, but I mean, he's got plenty of troops to destroy this base. So, um, Killer 2 is our leader, and again, I think Proud Gamer switch, switches leaders every week or so. It goes from Ace to Killer 2, but anyway, we have good leaders. So this is my actually second attack, and this is towards the end of the war within like 45 minutes left. And here, this base was already 2 star and I was trying to get a 3 star on this base so we can get extra stars because having as many stars as possible is the best, and it just makes the clan look good. So... I'm going in with level 2 dragons and 2 rage and the lightning. The reason I carry a lightning is either for CC troops or um, maybe like an air defense if it's like half hurt and it's killing the dragons I could drop it on an air defense or in buildings and I actually do use a good um, advantage of the lightning spell in this raid because um, I mean it wasn't the best and I wanted to like dump it out since I'm not going to use it and I wanted to do as much damage as possibly could to this base so Anyway, that was my second attack. I mean, this is my second account, and this is one of the last attacks we actually did in war. There was a couple more after me, but not too many. So, anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I mean, you guys will see the how many stars we got, and actually, I'm surprised. Our Proud Gamers are very good in war, but they do face easy clans. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry if you guys are watching from Proud Gamers. You guys do face much easier clans than our main clan does. Um, so... But nonetheless, they are amazing in war, so good job to Proud Gamers. There we go. I got that extra one star for the clan. So let's go back home and check it out. So 77 to 28 against 35 versus 35. It looks like we used all attacks by 9. So very good job to Proud Gamers. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tomorrow, I'll have the Proud YouTubers War Recap video. And if we could smash 40 likes, that would be amazing. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.